See, Apple has been doing something really crazy with their PCs. Last year when they launched M4 Mac Mini at a really good pricing, everyone loved it. And now they've launched MacBook Air M4 at a crazy good pricing. Now, just to give you an idea, last year the base variant of MacBook Air M3 with 8GB of RAM launched at 1,14,990 rupees. And in comparison to that, the MacBook Air M4 with 16GB of RAM launched at 99,990 rupees only. Honestly, when I first saw the pricing, I just refreshed my page thinking that this is not the actual pricing and the page must not have loaded. But when I realized that this is actually the pricing, I couldn't wait to test it and show it to you guys. So this right here is the box of the brand new MacBook Air M4 15 inches and thankfully they sent the new color and let me show you what all you get in the box. In the box you obviously get the MacBook, a 35 watt dual port charger since it's a high end variant but in the base variant you only get a single port charger. There's obviously a Type-C to MagSafe cable which by the way will be of the same color as the laptop so it looks quite cool. First things first, this brand new color. I really like this color and to describe but beautifully, I think that this is one of those 50 shades of blue that you would have never imagined. This looks refreshingly premium. Apart from the color, there's absolutely no difference from the last gen MacBook. It's the same aluminium build, same port selection, same no fan design and the bottom is also the same. So the only way to tell someone that you've got a brand new MacBook Air M4 without telling them that you've got a brand new MacBook Air M4 is by getting this new color. And yeah, just so you know, on the left you get a MagSafe port along with two Type-C Thunderbolt 4 ports and on the right you get a lonely audio jack. And of course you'll need dongles because there's also Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3 for connectivity. So yeah, design-wise, not a lot has changed. It's still a sleek and lightweight laptop, the lid still opens with one hand, the keyboard and trackpad are also the same as last time, and the notch is still there. But the biggest difference lies in the performance, so let me just tell you about that. Just like last time, the MacBook Air M4 is available in two sizes, the 13 inches and 15 inches. We have the 15 inch variant with us. Now, one thing that remains same in all the models is the RAM. Yes, the base variant of all the models will now come with 16 GB of RAM instead of 8 GB that was really not enough. Especially for demanding tasks like video editing, photo editing, you get the idea. See, chipset was always capable. It was RAM that was bottlenecking the processing but not anymore I guess. Now, RAM aside, all the laptops will be powered by the latest M4 chipset which brings a decent improvement over M3 but when it comes to the base model, you'll get two less GPU cores which might show up in the benchmarks but in day-to-day -day tasks, it won't make much of a difference. Other than that, there's 256 GB storage in the base variant but you can take it up to 2 TB. See, I'd suggest you either take the base variant or maybe 512 GB variant because after that it will be a very pricey affair and in that case you are better off with the Pro. See, that's everything about the specifications. Now let me tell you something out of my experience. See, I was using MacBook Air M1 for the longest period of time but when I switched from Air M1 to M3, I noticed that the performance has improved a lot but when I switched from M3 to M4, the performance difference was not noticeable. Of course, there will be improvements in benchmarks, the video editing, the processing time all of these things but when it comes to day-to-day -day usage you won't feel much of a difference. See what I'm trying to say here is that if you're on M1 or M2 you can definitely upgrade to M4 but if you're on M3 I don't think you'd really need to upgrade unless you really want this new color. One thing that I specifically love about Macs is that they are built to last. I mean the MacBook Air M1 that I used extensively is still being used in our office and it's still going strong and that's the biggest difference between Windows and Mac. Macs age really well but Windows they don't age, they fall apart. Now, apart from that, there's now a 12 megapixel center stage camera which makes sure that you're always in frame in your video calls and it's quite responsive as well. Plus, you now have this new desk view that is great for demonstrations as it can show you the stuff placed on your desk which is quite handy. If I talk about the camera quality, it's slightly better than M3 but not a lot of difference. In terms of battery and charging also, there's slight upgrades. The battery is now 1.2 watt hour bigger and the charging speeds are also faster but the included charger in the box is still the same at least for the base model. And if I dig a little deeper, the memory bandwidth is also increased now. It's now 120 GB per second, while earlier it was just 100 GB per second. Now, what does that mean? This means that the data transfer between CPU, GPU and RAM will be faster. Again, what does that mean? Well, this means that the apps will load faster and will give you better performance. Okay, let's talk about benchmarks now because I know that you guys love it. In Geekman's CPU, the scores are almost double compared to MacBook Air M1, both in single core and multi core, but when compared to M3, it's not a lot of difference. And when it comes to GPU, the performance jump is almost three times compared to M1 because they have worked a lot on GPU and NPU. In fact, if you compare it with M3 Air, the improvements are quite significant. In terms of storage speeds, we are getting these scores in 1 TB variant but if you are using a different variant the numbers might vary. Apart from the benchmarks I also did some real world tests just to see the performance and this is what I got. 
First of all, I tried editing a 4K30 long form video in FCP and the file size was very large, mostly because of my retakes, but the rendering time was very fast. In fact, the editing was also quite smooth. The temperatures also did not cross 40 degrees, which is also very commendable. Only when there were multiple layers, it was showing slight jitters, but other than that, it was quite smooth. I also tried After Effects to render this project of ours and the laptop was handling it quite well. The rendering time was also very fast and the temperatures also did not cross 42 degrees, which is really good for a laptop with passive cooling. I also ran some local queries in LLM Studio with DeepSeek model and it was running just fine. No problems at all. I also tried playing some games on this not to challenge Windows, just to see how well it does. In Death Stranding, we were getting constant 60 FPS at the highest settings and the gameplay was also very smooth. I also played Rocket League because it's one of my favorites and yeah, it's quite playable at 100 plus FPS in 1080p. The next one I tried is the Resident Evil 4 where I got 30 FPS and the gameplay was not at all playable. So that's where I kind of stopped. Apart from benchmarks, gaming, LLM, I also use this laptop as my daily driver and I used it mostly for writing scripts, browse internet with a lot of Chrome tabs open, use all my work apps, take video calls, watch sports, movies and also make some last minute changes in thumbnail on Photoshop and in all of these use cases, this laptop never slowed me down and the temperatures were also in control. And yeah, if you multitask like a pro, you can also connect it to two external display with up to 6K 60Hz and use all three screens together. Now, if you are thinking about the battery life, I was getting 13 to 14 hours on a single charge on this laptop throughout my usage and that is actually very good. See, in Max, battery life is never an issue. You know that, right? But when it comes to charging, it took 2.5 hours to charge this laptop with the 35 watt charger and that is a lot of time. But the laptop supports 70 watt charging so if you want, you can buy a 70 watt charger instead and charge your laptop faster. And by the way, if you're buying a 512 GB variant or a variant above that, you'll get an option to add the fast charger for free which is nice. In terms of software, the laptop is running on Mac OS Sequoia and the Apple intelligence support is also expected to come in April which is just weeks away. And if you're using an iPhone or an iPad, the ecosystem features are a big plus. If I talk about the keyboard, it's the same backlit keyboard with Touch ID support but there's one big change. Yes, the mute button doesn't confuse you anymore. There's a bar on top of it that makes sure that it's actually a mute button. The trackpad is also the same as last time. It's kinda huge just like your... <laughs> well, never mind. Now let's talk about the display for a bit. It's the same liquid retina IPS display with 60Hz refresh rate but it's fairly bright and the color tuning is also done well. Of course, it's not as good as OLED but it's still very good. It's also quite color accurate, there's Dolby Vision support for multimedia and the speakers are also very loud and crisp and you don't miss out on the bass as well. Now that I told you everything about this new MacBook Air M4, here's what I think about it. See, it's not very common for Apple to launch their next gen products at a lower price compared to their last gen products. It's very very strange. It's not just the costing, the upgrades are also very meaningful, be it the RAM, the processor, the camera or even battery. And all of it makes this product as one of the best Apple products that you can buy in recent time. And if you know your way around the offers and the deals, you can get this laptop for even lower which makes it even better. So that's what I think. What do you guys think? Tell us in the comments and if you guys have any questions about this laptop, feel free to ask us in the comments and we'll answer those. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.